we are creating what we call a futures literacy theater lab. We're taking the structure of a futures literacy lab uh, in its three stages as designed by uh, Real Miller and uh, we're applying theater tools to it. So substituting some of the conventional tools of a lab with tools from the arsenal of, of the theater of the oppressed and other theater techniques. Today I expect uh, the unexpected. I expect to meet people, I expect to try things out, I expect to play, I expect to have fun, I expect to, um, to be surprised. A forum such as this might, might be the, the first place to, to germinate a series of events which might multiply. So there might be multiplier events. I think, I know that in my theater practice and in my practice working at a university as I do, I can talk about this and work like this with my students. Uh, and I know that people will take this in their own ways. People were taking notes from their own different practices and saying, ah, I can use this here, I can apply this there. They might not be exactly the same thing, but I think they're, if you get people from different parts of the world coming together, they can then kind of take it back to wherever they came from and, and, uh, and spread it there. Futures literacy to me means an ability to realize that the future is not predetermined and our efforts to predetermine it are sometimes not so... Uh, our efforts to, to try and determine and establish a future are not necessarily effective. And so I think it's... Being futures literate means being open to whatever the future brings and understanding that the future will surprise you. We're experimenting with tools at this point. We're developing our tools, developing our ways to think about it. Um, I don't know how the particular exercises we did today here in this particular lab can be scaled up, uh, but I think what we do is they might not be scalable, but they might be multipliable. In other words, if you create capacity to run these labs, you might have a multiplication of that and, and just get people to think about their relationship with the future differently. I think the theatre, by my reckoning, but I would say that because I come from theatre background, the theatre is perhaps the, the final place of resistance where people will still meet, where people will still encounter and will still work out ideas and battle ideas as they've been doing for two and a half thousand years, using theatre as a means to, to work solutions out, to, to debate problems, to understand their relationship to the future. Essentially, the theatre still depends on two people being in the same room together. <laughs> <laughs>